Hi, good morning, good afternoon, you guys. Welcome. It's good to be with you on this solstice. It's good to be with you in community. It's been a while since we've all gathered. So many of us have gathered. So welcome. What an honor to um, just go inward together. It's so sacred to be in community uh, within ourselves. So let's take a few deep breaths. Take a nice deep breath into your upper belly, if you will. Deep breath here. Into your belly and exhale nice and slowly. And as you're breathing into your belly, of course, we're always going to do inner work. It's not just a solstice. It's a time for planting seeds and for inner growth so if you will just breathe into your body and notice what's living in you as you enter this summer as you bask in all of this light this sunshine the warmth that's coming through what's living within you what's showing up for you right now for you to work with breathing in deeply Exhaling slowly. Letting those long exhales relax your body and connect you to the earth that you are, your body. Breathing in and slowly releasing out. We've been working this month on our negative thoughts, neutralizing our negative thoughts being able to observe when we go negative and instead of making ourselves be positive, neutralizing the negative, being able to be aware of what's swimming through our heads and being with it, being with the message without thinking that's me, I am negative. I am those negative beliefs. So as you breathe into your body in this day, as we bask in the solar light, just notice what needs to be aired out and bleached with the sun. What old thoughts about yourself are outdated? They don't even apply anymore. They're just running like a recording in the back of that mental body. And as you breathe into your belly, begin to activate the violet consuming flame within your sacred heart space. Tuning into your soul flame, that sacred fire that's piped straight into your sacred heart. And as you connect with the heart, As you breathe deep into your heart, just feel that sacred pulse. Feel the divine pulsing, beating your heart. Feel your consciousness so present in your heart. And begin to fan that flame as you exhale, that violet flame in your heart. Exhale. Fan that flame. Allowing it to burn through your chest and your heart. All the way into the space of your body. Your energy field. And then concentrate that violet flame into your mind, your mental body, which begins in the solar plexus in your upper belly. That's where the ego lives. So feel the sacred violet flame that transmutes and brings love, power, and wisdom. Feel it in your solar plexus as it moves through your heart, straight up into your head, to your mind, and to those thoughts that block you from this present moment.
through the top of your head into the divine realms, into the heavenly realms. As you feel the roots in the earth, feel the leaves of this tree that you're spreading and growing into. Feel them reaching up to the divine, to the heavens, to the ascended masters and the angels as you root and rise, feeling yourself equally connected to this physical realm. As your branches and leaves, as your head, your crown chakra, your heart reaches up for that divine light. Feel yourself absorbing the divine light from the space above. like it's the deepest nourishment. Receive that sacred light straight from source and allow it to land in your pineal gland right at the center of the head, activating your third eye. Allowing you to see through the third eye allowing you to think through the third eye. And as you pull this light straight from the heavens into your third eye, begin now to feel the third eye refract this light into every cell of your body, activating your spiritual DNA. So just receive the light like you're a dry sponge soaking it up and allow it to land straight into those strands of DNA within your cells. And as it lands, as it absorbs deep within you, begin to allow it, even though your mind may not understand it, allow it to awaken and activate. your spiritual senses. Allow it to enlighten you into your highest consciousness. Feel the light sinking more deeply in. Begin to feel it turning on those spiritual codes deeply within your body as it works on the spiritual layer of you feel the mind the mental body aligning to that which is being activated deep within your spiritual DNA Allow every inhale to pull the light deeper into you and every exhale to push it 
into the spaces of your physical body that require healing. Allow, ask the light to turn off the genes that need to be turned off to turn on that which needs to be turned on like you're programming the computer. Tell you the light exactly what you desire within your physical, mental, and emotional being. So this is a space where you can begin to offer into that sacred light your deepest desires. They don't come from your head, they come straight from your heart. So as you gaze into your heart, simply ask your soul what it needs, what it desires to grow, Allow it to be specific. I want more love in my relationship with my son or daughter. I want my marriage to blossom. I want my career to take off. I want my health and my body to heal. I want to feel vibrant. Simply allow the light to activate the infrastructure of the feeling that your soul is commanding right here, right now. So feel. Not only that this is possible, but that this is being activated within your body within your emotions, within your thoughts. Simply allowing. And as you begin to feel the emotion, the energy in motion in your body, begin to speak it. I am vibrant. I am fully connected to my spouse with love and joy and play. I am fully activated in my career and I'm doing what I love, and I'm making money. My body is healing itself. It's fully comfortable. It's at ease. It's beautiful. I'm beautiful. I am enough. Speak it. Speak, I am. I am loved, I am safe. And as you feel the emotion, the energy in motion and the words rolling off your tongue, Allow yourself to feel that what you desire is inevitable. What your soul is asking for is its birthright. Say that. It is my soul's birthright to be healthy. It is my soul's birthright to have juicy relationships. It is my soul's birthright to be at peace with myself, to feel enough. And just notice if the mental body comes in and wants to put a gray cloud over this and honor 
honor where your mind is at with respect to what your soul is commanding because they're not going to be on the same page. Your soul is here. It took this body to expand, to grow, and it has outgrown the neurosynaptic wiring in your head. It has outgrown what your trauma packets may tell you you are. Allow the discrepancy. Allow it. Celebrate that your soul, just like a seedling breaking through the earth toward the sun, your soul is growing beyond what your mind in this moment has the capacity to support. Just observe that. Celebrate that. Feel that in your body. And just as you would like a toddler who's trying to sit at the table but is getting antsy and throwing spoons, start to speak to that mental body with all those negative thoughts of limitation and scarcity and not enoughness. Just let your soul say, it's okay. We'll get you there. You'll come along this ride. I hear you. You have fear. I love you in the fear. And instead of smacking your ego away and telling it it's bad, simply just place it in your lap and tell, you, tell it that you love it and that you appreciate the safety the vigilance, and that it's time to grow and expand. Just listen to it for a moment, its grievances of the mind, but, but, but. See if you can have some compassion from where those mental thoughts have come from. You don't have to figure out where, but just feel those parts of you that lost hope or felt like you didn't have enough or you weren't enough. See if you can open your heart to those thoughts and filter those thoughts straight through that burning fire within your heart. Like here, mind, let me take that and transmute that for you. That must have been hard. Allow the negative thoughts to come through. They're there anyway. We don't need to override them. We just need to transmute through loving awareness, the soul's awareness. So as all of those thoughts bubble up, just place them in the furnace within your heart, accepting them, loving them honoring where they came from. When you feel the heart transmute those thoughts, go back into the energy of your body healing or your marriage healing or your relationships shifting or your career, whatever it is that you're focusing on and reinvigorate that feeling, that emotion in your body. Holding close to those negative thoughts of limitation and scarcity and powerlessness, honoring that 
that place where you started, those remnants. And allowing both, allowing the ego mind to be what it is and allowing your soul's desires to still be cultivating in your body. The positive, the negative, it's all parts of you. So breathe that deeply into your body, the wholeness. As you lean back into that column of light and you begin to let go and fully surrender it, surrender this vision now, hand it over to your higher consciousness to divine, to the Buddha, the angels, to Jesus, to the divine father, mother. Hand it over to the light. And as you hand this intention over to the divine light, fully and completely allow yourself to be in this present moment without any need for it to be different. Just allow yourself to sit in the residual vibration of your soul's desires without any thought, without any need for anything to be different, just in the pure joy of being in this sacred circle And as you feel your tree roots deeply rooted in, just begin to feel your tree roots intertwined with the rest of the 70 people on this solstice day together and those watching the recording. Just begin to feel the support of the interwoven roots In this very supported human experience, we get to experience with each other. Feeling your roots growing. You never lose your own roots. You're just interweaving to support and co-create this human experience. Fully supported and loved by Mother Gaia, by each other. See if you can feel that connection to this earth and to humanity in such a co-creative and supportive way in your bones. Allow yourself now in this middle dimension to just feel all of us holding hands, fully supported with the light pouring through us. Receiving through your left arm, releasing, giving through your right arm, being in that sacred flow of the golden light. Roots grown and intertwined, hands held, and then at the crown, if you will, begin to see yourself as a point on the flower of life, as an interwoven matrix, spiritually connected family.
Feel yourself integrally connected to all the light beings, the ascended masters, the angels. And feel every part of you fully activated in this moment, in this life, on this day. Just allowing what is without any thoughts or judgments. And if you will, just go into the most authentic feeling of gratitude as you feel these roots, your toes grounded, rooted into the earth, this experience of humanity and community and love. And the feeling of it all being held together by that crystalline matrix of sacred light from the space above, the cosmic consciousness, the divine consciousness. I am that I am, that I am. As you feel that gratitude, allow it to wash through you. Thank you to the earth. Thank you to myself. Thank you to each other. Thank you to the divine. Thank you to the elementals of air and water, fire crystals, the earth, the ether. Taking a deep breath in to absorb the abundant, the light in this moment. And as you feel the glory and the beauty of this moment, just allow, either in your head or coming through your voice, the sound of Aum. Aum. The seed sound of the universe. If you will, just surround yourself with that sacred violet consuming flame, anchoring in the vibrations that you created today, co-created and amplified with 70, probably hundreds of other people. And as you seal this with me, we can say together, and so it is done.